Hi everyone, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Pramil Chariat. Uh, I work as a Chief Medical Officer and an Associate Professor of Medicine in one of the large medical schools in the United States. So we're going to continue our lectures on um, the herbal medicine and uh, related complications. Okay, again, I wanted to make sure we're not against herbal medicine, but uh, herbal medicine are becoming very, very popular all across the world. So the public has to know what kind of complications um, you can um, expect. Like every drug, there every drug has some complications, okay? That's the whole purpose. When you talk about kava or kava kava, it's mainly uh, found in the Polynesian countries like Micronesia, Polynesia or Melanesia. Um, especially it's called in so Solomon Islands. Um, and then Australia, it's like a lot of reports of people using it in Australia, okay? Um, when we talk about like, you know, let's look at what is the main component of this. The main component uh, of this drug is lactones, okay? And that is the main product which usually, you know, give you the good effects and also the bad effects. Uh, and uh, how does uh, people usually use kava? They use kava as, um, you know, sometimes what they put it in, make it in the tree or, or other drinks, or they can use it as uh, um, some kind of like a capsule or in the powder form. Uh, now let's look at the beneficial properties. It's a muscle relaxant. It can decrease anxiety, nervousness, um, relieve stress, and some reports about like increasing memory. Um, so those are the main reason people usually use the um, is this drug. When we talk about um, you know, let's look at again, we did like extensive literature search and scientific research, find out what's in the scientific literature, what kind of complications you can accept. One of the main studies we looked at it, the Journal of um, Environmental Sciences, uh, looked at the toxicity of kava kava. And let's look at what their important findings, okay? When we talk about their important finding, they found main thing about kava kava is liver toxicity, my friend. There's several, several reports of liver is gone um, and uh, um, people end up dying. You know, you may end up needing a transplant, but everybody knows how complicated to get a transplant. It can cause weight loss, renal failure, rash, pulmonary hypertension. Um, it causes macrocytosis, that means your uh, RBC can like balloon a little bit. And then lymphopenia, that means lymphocyte, which is essentially for, you know, fight of the viral infection. Their count has gone down and platelets has come down. Uh, euphoria, sedation, weakness, ataxia, those are the main complications uh, people have reported uh, from this drug, okay? Now, uh, FDA issued a warning um, regarding the liver failure based on the scientific literature. Um, uh, this next study, you know, we looked at the case report and it's a 56 year old uh, a uh, patient went into complete liver failure after taking kava and um, yeah, unfortunately the patient died uh, from liver failure, okay? Now, next study is looking at the, I mean, you know, when we talk about kava, not only liver, can cause other organs, mainly the things noticed in the uh, skin. This is a 26-year-old um, male patient, came erythematous, there's like papules and plaques develop, you can see clearly see in, the, in this picture about this patient. Now, next case report, we look at about a 30-year-old female, again, came with the symptoms of urticaria, that means pruritic reaction, like uh, uh, all over her skin, you can see that clearly in this picture uh, about, you know, so be careful about kava kava consumption, and you can accept, like, the dermatological reaction is also uh, very common, okay? Um, the, uh, patients, like another patient with the itching, urticaria, rash developed, there was another case report. Um, let's look at the next case report. What we have: 27-year-old patient started taking care of um, kava, developed neurotoxicity, and uh, you know the patient developed like extrapyramidal symptoms. When you talk about extrapyramidal symptoms, we can say clearly choreoathetosis, like uh, abnormal movement of the patient, abnormal movement of the tongue, um, <clears throat> abnormal movement of the neck, and all of those kind of uh, you know. So be careful about extrapyramidal symptoms when we take um, kava.
okay now another case report looked at the eye toxicity of kava you can have visual disturbance there's like decreased uh, uh, convergence of the eye and decreased um, accommodation and the oculomotor is one of the major nerve associated with the eye and that was like some <clears throat> poor paralysis of the oculomotor nerves also so kind of noted in those patients another case report look at and this case report um, talked about the patient after taking kava developed alter mental status and ataxia yeah, that means you can have the gait disturbances also. Now, next patient uh, um, is an unusual complication. This patient went into rhabdomyolysis. That means, you know, muscles start breaking down and then can cause renal failure. We I mean, the main marker of uh, rhabdomyolysis like CK. In this patient, after taking kava, the CK level went up to up to 30,000. Um, now, next case report, I mean, you know, he's talking about drug interaction, you know, um, a lot of herbal medicine also interact with the other medicines we, we can take. <clears throat> so the reason for this, this, uh, there's an enzyme in the body called the cytochrome 450 and uh, it metabolizes a lot of uh, drug products and so the, you, all, you can always expect uh, a reaction with the CP450 um, enzyme. So any other drug you're taking, you have to be careful. The case report clearly talk about an alprazolam drug. After taking um, kava and they were drunk, it caused a drug interaction. So we have to be careful when you take about this drug about um, drug interaction. Okay. In summary, when we talk about kava, uh, main thing we have to worry about, there's lots and lots of case reports, including death from liver, liver toxicity and the other symptoms. You can have dermatological reaction, you can have renal failure, you can have neurological problems, um, and then you, can, you also need to worry about uh, rhabdomyolysis and um, drug interaction also very common. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation. God bless. Please subscribe to our channel if you can, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.